Hello, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate a very small memory system or RAM system. RAM uh, meaning random access memory. Everyone might know that, but just in case. This memory system will have only four addresses. Uh, and each address stores a four bit value. That's why I have A0 and A1 and D3 through D0 here. In another video I did, which you can look at, I demonstrated how to build just one of these memory cells. So each memory cell has four inputs, four pins, a data pin for reading and writing, a read pin to tell it to read from the memory cell, a write pin to tell it to write to the memory cell, an enable pin. If the enable pin is not on, it won't do anything, no matter what read and write uh, have on the line. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the memory cells are arranged in rows. Each row is a single address. So this is address zero. This is address one, this is address two, and this is address three. Of course, this is large. There's many ways to compact these systems. This is uh, for demonstration purposes. What I do is I have to run a bunch of wires, basically. Uh, let me just show you the wiring first a little bit. The enable is very simple because I enable a single row, that's it. What I have here is sort of a hacky way to do row selection. Uh, the fancy way would be to use some kind of multiplexer and maybe in a future video I could update this thing to do it a little bit fancier. What I did is I kind of hard coded these rows at the moment. So, <clears throat> By having two inverters here for the address zero and address one, this AND will be true if zero and one are both false. And then it will enable this red enable row here, you can see hooked up to all of these enable pins. They're all high. And this is address one, this is address two, this is address three. It's very, very simple, but I'm just trying to give you an idea uh, of how this works. Okay, so let me, uh, well, I'll just stick with the first row. Uh, all the rows work basically identical. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I distracted myself. I was gonna explain the rest of the wiring. The right is just a bunch of wires going to the right button. So when I push that and hold it, this wire goes on. It's wired up to all of these right pins along here. And then that line goes up to this row, again, hooked up to all the right pins and so on. Then the read uh, button is exact same. When I push that, this wire uh, goes to all of the repids on every single row via this sort of long wire here. The data I've run over the top of all these circuits. So all these data pins here are hooked up to a column of data pins. And that is because this row here is the high bit of my data and this row here is the low bit of my data. Only one row will be enabled, so at any time, one cell will be sending data down this line when read is enabled. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate here by writing some data. Let's write six to address zero. So A0, zero, zero, A1 is zero. The enable line of for this row is high. So when I click right, the low bit is zero, 
the next high bit is one, the next highest bit is one, and the highest bit is zero. And we can see that on the D latch is zero, one, one, zero. I can flip these off and then I can tell it to read from address zero. I have the simulation running on a slow speed right now. So that's why it takes a little while for everything to propagate. Now we'll just do one more uh, thing. I'll just show you, we can do this address line three. Let's write uh, four to address line three. I got to hold that down long enough because <laughs> the propagation speed's so slow. Normally just be instantaneous. And I can jump here and see that indeed the high bit is set, the low bits are not. Now, because it's memory, I should be able to go back to address zero and read what's on there again. And that should be, I believe, a six. And that's it. It's um, it's kind of like the devil's in the details. I mean, individually, it's not that complicated, but it is a ton of wiring. And the actual decoding for the rows is, you know, can get more complicated, obviously, as you get more rows. Eventually, you get into larger uh, multiplexers. And that would be a topic for a different time. Thank you for watching.